So far we've used predefined names like max or empty, but of course you can define your own names as well, and that's using the define form. So if we say define pi to be 3.14, uh, then when we write pi, that's the same as writing the number uh, 3.14. So the syntax of define is open paren define, and then a name like pi, and then any expression. So that expression doesn't have to be a literal. We can uh, have uh, an arbitrary expression there, and of course that expression is evaluated to get what we want. You can write definitions down here, but normally, finally we're going to start using the top part of the window, normally we write definitions at the top here. And when we do that, we can use them in later expressions, or we can keep using them down here in the bottom part of the window. So here I've defined pi to be 3.14, and that's why I can use it down here. I could use it up here as well. So here I've defined pi, and then I'm using it. If you want to write a function, so a new function like max, then that's defined and then an open paren. So here is defining the area function r on uh, a circle of radius r. That's of course going to be pi times r squared. So now I can evaluate this definition and I can write area of uh, a circle of radius 1.0 is, uh, is pi. If we look at area by itself without calling it as a function, then we see it has a type uh, that's an arrow type. It takes a number and returns a number. We didn't actually say that explicitly up here, but we could have. And the way we would say it explicitly is we would say r is a number, and we would say that we expect to produce a number result like that. So that um, is just equivalent to what we wrote before. Uh, we've only declared it uh, instead of having a plate figure it out for us. If we write something that doesn't make sense, then you can see there was an error that popped up at the window here. Or if I try to run it, it'll say, you know, this doesn't make sense. You claim a string, but this must produce a number, and so there's a mismatch here. So you can declare your types, or you can leave them inferred like that.